Hey guys, and welcome to an episode of Sanctuary Tech Sport. So, I've just... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, because it's not even funny, to be honest. I've just finished watching the uh, Spurs-Liverpool game. Um, I wasn't optimistic, to be honest, because... This is just what happens to us, to be honest. They haven't scored... A, Liverpool, I'm talking about right now. Liverpool hadn't scored in the Premier League for five games. They hadn't won in five games. I I say in all week, they'll, they'll score three against us because this is just what happens. I'm at, like, this is a weird feeling, this one. Like, it's just disappointment. It's just like things that have been needed to be fixed for, for years is odd. Every goal was an error. First one, I don't even know who to blame, Eric Dyer or Lloris. Either way, just fucking get rid of it. Just get rid of it. it it's, it's easy. That is, You learn that when you're a kid. You learn that when you're a kid. And the second one. Playing out from the back against the most high-pressing team in possibly world football. What the fuck are you doing? It's, it's shambles. It's actually shambles. And then just to top it off. Loris, the ball went at you about a mile per hour. And if you're going to par it away, par it out for a corner. Don't par it straight into Trent's feet. <sighs> right. And then we'll talk about the last one. It's the worst mistake. But I feel quite bad because I, I rate Joe Rodon. I think he had a good game. But what, what, are, you, what are you doing? You, you're letting the ball bounce. But, you're a professional centre-back who plays for Tottenham Hotspur. Do not let the ball bounce. What the fuck? Get rid. That is your number one job, is get rid of the ball. That is one of the worst defensive displays I have ever seen from us. We've got Toby Alderweireld sat on a bench. <laughs> Why? It, it, that was coming. That was coming. Like, yeah, we probably got unlucky with the sun decision. Like, it's just margins, but it is what it is. Maybe Allison handling it out of the box didn't get checked, but still, they, they, they we deserve to lose. We deserve to get battered. Fair play to Liverpool; they were brilliant. I think. I mean, we pretty much handed them the goals, but they looked confident that they were going to get a goal. They looked they had a bit of a spring in their step. Our defence wasn't a line. I don't know what that was. That wasn't a line. And now probably Kane's probably injured for three weeks, which tops as soon as he went off. Kane goes, Son goes. Like it just. That's just that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Kane's a, a world class player, and when he went off, I was just pissed off. To be honest, I was like, "For fuck's sake!" And the only thing I could really fault Jose on, because I don't think Jose asked people trying to, are coming to me trying to tell me that this is Jose Mourinho's fault. How the fuck? How the hell do you think that's his fault? Does he ask Joe Rowland to let the ball bounce? Does he tell Eric Dyer and Hugo Lloris to have a fucking stupid mix-up? Does he tell Lloris to tip it straight to Trent's feet? No. No, he doesn't. He doesn't tell them to do that. The only fault I have is that he didn't bring Bale in at half-time. I thought that was ridiculous. But fair play to Liverpool. They were, they were brilliant. I would... <sighs> I'm just angry. I don't even have any words. Like I'm just pissed off. Like that's I don't even know about top four. Like ever. that Well yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that because I'm just gonna get myself really worked up. Well, yeah, that's my post match analysis. Um please <laughs> please like and subscribe and a like a note. It does mean a lot. And that's another episode of Sanctionate Sport. Cheers guys. <laughs>